Digital access, according to the International Telecommunications Union, ITU, is about addressing social and economic imbalances when developing policy and rolling out ICTs so that people from diverse background have similar opportunities when it comes to access to technology. And in line with this principle, stakeholders in the Nigerian ICT industry gathered in Lagos to take a look at the impact of policies put in place by the federal government for achieving equitable access in the country. The whole uh, reason for this uh, consultation is, to, is part, to engage the operators themselves. What we've noticed is that in the past, they have not been showing a lot of interest and that's why we, we are creating a model that will streamline our procurement processes, our request for proposals will be streamlined and we're also going to um, uh, be as transparent as possible by showing what are the marks, the marking scheme as it were, like the criteria that we are going to use to select the most responsive bits. That way the operators we believe will uh, respond. The roundtable convened by the Universal Service Provision Fund, USPF, attracted key stakeholders in the nation's ICT industry who criticized the fund for ineffective implementation of the strategic management plan of 2007 to 2011, a framework designed to fast track ICT access in the country. For seven years, I mean, uh, the, the strategic plan 2007 2011 was five years, 11 to now, it's already two years, and we look at the performance. And if you ask people, for seven years, this is all we have been doing. Uh, it's supposed to be to encourage access to unserved and unserved area of the country. Because the service providers, they are interested in profit making, just like any commercial outfit. But government has given fit through a law that this fund should be established in order to enhance accessibility by those people who are living in the unserved and unserved area of the country, like the rural areas. So definitely this fund would address that issue and make, encourage the service providers to be able to move to those areas they deem is not commercially viable. On their part, the USPF has this to say. Yes, there is a little gap, but that's why the round table is to try to bridge this gap. I think part of the problem also is about uh, energy. Uh, once the energy is fluctuating and uh, there is uh, the, the cost of you know being generating a diesel to run a generator is another part of the problem. You know, service providers, they need to get a proceed in whatever they are doing. So in as much as where they see it cannot serve, of course, you know, they won't go there. So I think part of the problem is electricity, but I hope uh, meaningfully we are progressing. And despite their dissatisfaction, the stakeholders went ahead to make recommendations on how to effectively implement the new five-year plan. The summary of all that we have had here today is that there is a massive change. There is a change in concept. There is a change in thinking. There is a change in focus. And if all these are real, then sky can only be, it won't even be our limit. Now that the USPF has a new plan, it is hoped that this will translate to meaningful economic developments for Nigeria as a relationship between economic development of a country and effective telecommunication services is interwoven.